블랙홀에게 두 번이나 잡아먹고도 기적적으로 살아남은 별의 이야기. A star brushing against death and somehow surviving. You've probably heard that rare events don't usually happen twice in the same spot. But out in space, something far more extreme just did. A black hole, millions of times more massive than our sun, snacked on a star. Not once, but twice. Yes, twice. And the star came back for more. This isn't science fiction. It's a real observation, one that has stunned astronomers across the globe. What they witnessed challenges decades of assumptions about black holes, stars, and how these colossal titans of gravity actually behave. Here's what happened. In 2022, astronomers spotted a brilliant flare coming from a distant galaxy. That flare, named AT2022-DBL, was a tidal disruption event. That's when a star wanders too close to a supermassive black hole and gets torn apart by its intense gravity. Half of the star gets flung into space, the other half devoured. As the shredded material swirls around the black hole at near light speeds, it heats up and glows, creating a powerful flash of light that we can detect across the universe. Now, this kind of flare isn't unheard of, but what came next was, two years later, almost to the day, another flare, nearly identical to the first, burst from the same spot in the sky. Same brightness, same temperature, same everything. It didn't make sense. According to what we thought we knew, a star only gets one chance. It flies too close to the black hole, gets destroyed, and that's it. Game over. No sequels, no returns. But this star didn't follow the rules. Led by Dr. Lydia Macrigiani and Professor Iar Arkavi, a team of international researchers looked closer. And their conclusion? The first flare wasn't the full destruction of the star. It was only a partial disruption. In simple terms, the black hole took a bite, but the star survived. Somehow, enough of the star's core remained intact. It kept orbiting, continued its path, and after two years, looped around and aft close to the black hole again, and once again, the black hole took another bite. Think about that. Imagine flying past an object so dense, so powerful, it can bend space and time and living to do it twice. This single event flips a lot of what we thought we understood. Scientists have spent the last decade trying to explain why tidal disruption events often look dimmer or cooler than expected. Maybe that's because many of them weren't full disruptions at all. Maybe we've been watching black holes nibble on stars instead of swallowing them whole. That changes everything, and it gets even more exciting. Because if this pattern continues, if the star comes back a third time in 2026, and we see another flare, then the theory is confirmed. The star was never fully destroyed. It just keeps orbiting, grazing the edge of doom again and again. But if no flare shows up in 2026, it could mean the second bite was the last, that the star was finally consumed, completely shredded beyond survival. Either way, astronomers now know something new. Stars can survive the jaws of a supermassive black hole, at least for a while. The idea that black holes are these final one-and-done destroyers may need revision. Maybe they don't always kill their prey. Maybe they sometimes play with it. And for researchers trying to understand the deepest mysteries of galaxies and gravity, that's both thrilling and unsettling. These monstrous objects lurk at the heart of nearly every galaxy in the universe, including ours. The black hole in the center of the Milky Way is quiet for now, but it could wake up. It could feed. And events like AT2022-DBL help scientists learn what to expect if or when it does. For now, all eyes are on 2026. Will the star return for round three? No one knows. But one thing is clear, the cosmos is full of surprises. And sometimes, even the most terrifying forces in the universe don't play by the rules.